Definitely. Hey, you mentioned multiple guys. That brings me up to the draft, man. The Panthers are on the clock. <laughs> <laughs> With the Panthers. I'm I'm pretty positive they're going quarterback first yes. overall. So yes. which quarterback fits their mold in 2023? Oh, man. And oh, that's a man. tough one. It's a tough one. It's a tough I have one. a I have a, a tough a, I have an idea that they're gonna go with Anthony Richardson. That's just I my don't think take. so. That's nah, just my take. I'm gonna tell you, and I'm gonna tell you my personal reason why I don't think so. Because you just had a quarterback that you drafted number one, you know, ten years ago whenever Cam was there. The nope. same type guy. You know, that's the same type guy. So I don't think they're do they re- I don't think they're re- repeat history. I think they go with a different guy. You never know. They're definitely not going Bryce Young. That's just that, why well, you, no. you don't think they go Bryce Young because he's small. No, the, the GM has already said no on that. He's I don't think he went. said no. On, I think he's throwing everybody off. Uh, <laughs> I think he's throwing it'll, everybody it'll, off. It'll it'll be between Anthony Richardson or C.J. Stroud from Ohio I, State. Well, I tell you this: I don't think it'll be Anthony Richardson. <laughs> I tell you, <laughs> I don't think it'll be. Anthony. I think uh, Frank Wright. He has a thing for him already. You watch. Yeah, you, you, it, you say that, but we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the league, you know how it is. They're enamored by talent. Yes. And what that what that kid brings to the table. Yeah, they, is... they, they the league drafts people by potential. And mm-hmm. I tell guys that all the time. Um, I had a couple guys that I felt like I was better than in the draft, mm-hmm. but they was bigger than me. You know, the guys was bigger than me. Uh, a couple guys who had a little bit more speed, a little more upsize than I mm-hmm. had. So they drafted. I felt like they got drafted before me because of potential. Mm-hmm. It was just looking at, oh, yeah, he's 5'9". Uh, he could play, but this guy got a lot of upsides than he do. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm, I have never was going to grow no more. I knew that. <laughs> so <laughs> I felt like I had more up, upsides than I had. So mm-hmm. they drafted before me. They drafted guys before me. You know, I outlasted a lot of the guys that went before me. But For at the sure. same time, the lead draft guys by potential. And I always mm-hmm. tell guys, you know, not who had the best college career. You know, who, not who put up the best numbers. It's about potential in the NFL. Mm-hmm. These guys, oh, yeah, he got the best potential, so I'm going to draft him with number one pick. So uh, you never know, like you said, that's what you're thinking. Um, you know, uh, I hope you're wrong, but uh, we'll see. <laughs> hey, with that, I just, I just think you mentioned you, you guys that are shorter. With that sort of scenario, you can't judge – you can't uh, put a measurement on the heart. Like, you can't. You can't at all. People um, mentioning Steve Smith again. Right? Yes, and that's and that's who a guy I always looked up to. Um, mm-hmm. A guy who I always kind of play light with that chip on my shoulder. Mm-hmm. You no, know, because everybody look look at smaller guys and be like, oh yeah, he's too small to do this. He's too small to do that. And I used to go out there and I used to play with that chip on my shoulder. I always angry. I always like I'm gonna show you I'm not too little. I don't care if you six four. I don't care if you Julio Jones. I don't care who I was playing. Larry Fitzgerald. I'm going to show you, y'all going to feel me every play. 